I wake up with a dream. Some days this dream takes a very nasty twist. And there are other days when I end up conquering that particular dream. This morning, as I come to the close of one of the most phenomenal years of my life, I woke up with this incredible sense of fear. Again, fear. And it was because I had dreamt of this horrible incident that I went through when I was much, much younger in school. I was, I was bullied throughout my school life. I remember walking into school for a birthday, being absolutely terrified of what the boys would do to me. We had invented something called birthday kicks. And for anyone who's in a boys' school, you know what that means. That means you get pulled by your left arm and your right arm and your right leg and your left leg and you're kicked. You're kicked the number of times that match the age that you are. So on my uh, 14th birthday, uh, when I was uh, in class 10, I was always been young for my batch. I remember being so scared to come to school, looking at the same boys who had grown up with me. I had had people come up to a basketball court, take my ball away from me, I'd be playing alone, throw it at my face and then throw it outside of the courtyard and ask me to go and run after it and get it. I didn't know how to fight. I remember taking my cycle out into a, into a parking lot just outside our house, having a boy from school come up to me and he literally took a piece of paper spat in it, rolled it up and threw it at my face and said, who the hell do you think you are? I think one of the most hurtful things that I've ever had to go through has been knowing that while I was sitting eating my lunch in school, uh, there was a bunch of boys behind me who, who slid under my, my desk and tied my shoelaces together without me knowing it. It sounds funny right now, but there was a boy at the back of me who, who went and who went and sent out ink from his fountain pen onto the back of my shirt and it said the words balls moron and I didn't know that was on the back of my shirt and I walked out with that shirt and I was a laughing stock of the school for the whole day all I remember about school is being laughed at or being ridiculed or being called an outsider or being a loner and if I were to look back at myself when I was in class 7 or 8 I remember being completely whipped to the bone by a principal who I took many, many years to forgive. I remember walking out of that cabin completely, uh, I think the word would be broken. And I walked out of the veranda and I slipped and I fell and I grazed my knee very badly and that scar is still on me because I remember what it did to me as a person. For a long time after that, I was not able to look at anyone in the face with confidence. He look at my parents or my father and my mother and tell them what had happened in school. So for me, wanting to leave school and wanting to leave Shillong was just natural. I wanted to run away. And no one ever Apart from my mother and father, no one ever made me feel like I was capable of doing much with my life. So I grew up believing that I was uh, a failure, that I would not make it in the world, that I would not be worth anything, that I would not amount to anything. And the words of my principal as he, as he struck me on the face with his hand still ring in my mind even today. Mark Stone, you are trouble for everyone under the sun. Those words were so powerful. I grew up thinking about those words at every major decision I took. Every time I'd want to make a choice to do something better, I'd say, no, I'm going to make trouble for someone. Every time I wanted to do something good for somebody, I said, no, this is going to turn into something bad. It'll be a disaster. And that, that voice in my head got so strong that to get to this point where I'm 35 now and I work with young people who I look around me and see are as broken and as depressed and as disappointed with their lives, no one's ever gone up to someone and said to them, you are capable of anything. And I remember for me, that turning point in my life happened with, with a teacher in class 10 
a brother who looked at me and said mark i believe in you and that was the beginning of everything for me to have a teacher come up to me and say that he believed in me that was when i began to believe that i was capable i aced my exams that year <laughs> i got onto a stage for the very first time that year and i owned that stage i owned being in the presence of hundreds of people watching me do a bit play a role and i realized that for the rest of my life what i wanted to do was speak to people and connect with people and just be true to every possibility that was lined within my being this is a long shot for me to run a company like avenues is a long shot i don't think anybody would have thought this was possible knowing me then and seeing me now so i woke up with this with this feeling of dread and fear in my heart this morning and i wanted to record this message for the world to tell you i was bullied in school i was hunted down by people who said they wanted to beat me up after school i was i was beaten by my school principal i was a failure in my subjects in school i changed my marks to prevent the shame of going home to my parents with the report card that was so poor but i always knew deep down inside that i would do something with my life and i wanted something more something more than just the mediocrity of what i was surrounded with i had no idea that it would be in this space of helping young people shape their dreams and look at themselves for who they could potentially become and if i knew back then that i would be here today i would have been a little easier on myself and i would have told myself what i will tell you you are capable of anything and you need to remember as you head into a new year you need to let go of the voices in your head that tell you you are not enough and of the people around you who don't believe in what you are and what you're capable of and as 2018 dawns on us and there's a new sunshine in our lives you must know that the loudest voice in the room must be your own and you must truly believe that as you head down your path no matter how uncertain the outcome is if you truly believe that you are capable of anything and you follow that up with genuine respect for the people in your lives and you follow that up by learning to let go of the things that are not important and that don't mean squat to the larger dream of your life and you let go of the people that tell you that you're not worth it and you're not capable and you follow that up with trust for those that do and you follow that up with acts of courage like stepping out of that front door waking up on the 1st of January 2018 and saying this is my life and i own this space this is my home this is where my soul comes home and you and you and you can choose to believe in me and if you don't i believe in me and that's it that is truly enough if you are the loudest voice in the room let it be known to all close your eyes breathe in the light of possibility see yourself in the next 5 years and know you are capable of anything that's it you are capable.